Hi there, Renee Asa of Lone, Massachusetts. I'm thinking about thinking Abe's video about who can we trust online in regards to the culture war. There are things I genuinely concern about that have been overtaking by the culture war to be manipulated by both sides of the aisle. So I'm gonna take a quick analogy and talk about beauty channels. So if there is a woman or a man applying like some sort of foundation or a mascara or a hair product, they have to clearly state whether or not they're sponsored. And a lot of channels take pride of not sponsoring um, different individuals and different, you know, products. Or if they do, it's something they would personally use almost every day or weekly. And a lot of people gain trust over that, and that's how they keep their, you know, their 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 watchers, the people who watch them, is based on this trust. That I'm not gonna tell you just do use this mascara and really like they're wearing fake eyelashes. And so back to the culture war. Sometimes a little bit more obvious than others, like um, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. He will rail against climate change, always. But the investors of the Daily Wire are people in Texas with who own petroleum. They're like billionaires and they wanna protect their oil business. So he will even put, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson will even rail against the Pope, saying the Pope shouldn't care about the environment even though we've always cared about the environment. It's always been a part of Catholic teachings um, saint, from St. Francis of Sissy from like the 1200s. We've always had like a patron saint of ecology or a patron saint of the environment. And it plays a part in how we sustain the earth and keep it clean so we can sustain a species, a human species, I guess. And just for love, right? You, If you love yourself, you're gonna love the environment. And if you love others, you're going to love the environment as well. And yet, Dr. Jordan B. Peterson on, on Twitter, or X now, will rail against Pope Francis. And I will have people in my comments when I made a few videos about Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. goes, I trust Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. I have more faith in Dr. Jordan B. Peterson than the Pope. And they claim to be Christians. They claim to be Catholic. So this whole thing about, like, who do you trust? Don't trust me, all right? I know that sounds weird. Get involved in your local community. If you want to be a Christian or a Catholic, there's a local parish or a local church where you should be participating in as a part of a community. I believe that there are individuals online who identify, let's say, these traditional Catholics, which is this really spiritually abusive, far-right, cult-like um, way of thinking that doesn't actually exist in the Catholic Church in the diocese but it's something like self-created online so if you go to like the ex-traditionalist Catholic reddit forum they're like there's nothing wrong with a lot of mass there's nothing wrong with even the music and the diocese will sponsor the extraordinary form or the Latin mass and there's a lot a lot a lot of normal people there but if you go online and you look at these traditionalists, they are the most nastiest, judgmental, non-Catholic behaving individuals. And like, if you were like looking to the Catholic church, going, oh, I might be Catholic, I'd like to look the Pope. And you go online and you're like, who are these traditionalists who are always just like, I don't think they're even Catholic. Like some of us, us Catholic YouTubers are like, I don't think these people are actually Catholic or go to mass or in any way engaged in like a religious life. They're just sort of like cosplaying this far right narrative of how important it is to save Western civilization. They say like, it's always about saving Western civilization. Or they're always propping up Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is wearing the Satan costume, by the way. It's not Halloween. For over a year, close to two years now, he's been wearing that Satan costume in his profile pic. He's telling you he does not have good intent, guys. So who do you trust? Again, don't trust me. Don't trust Thinking Abe either. Go participate in your local community. Go volunteer. Go, if you feel like spiritually you need something, go visit a, a, a local parish or a local church or a synagogue or a mosque or a Buddhist temple or a Hindu temple. Figure things out in your own. If you're going to explore spirituality and religion, don't trust me. Don't trust Thinking Abe. Don't trust Elon Musk, the richest man in the world whose whole reason why to buy Twitter was so he could just manipulate people with his own narrative and control the algorithm.
Do you think he did it at the goodness of his heart? No, he likes power and control. And these little like talking heads like Dr. Joy and B. Peterson just go with the narrative. And you, you always see like this narrative shift where they make you not trust the other side. So like in Thinking Apes video, there are people there who did not trust the Department of Justice and their indictments of these two Russians. They think it's all a conspiracy because they've been so caught up in this culture war and the algorithm that you become so distrustful. So how do you gain that trust back? You, you, you connect with your family. You connect with your community. You connect with, yes, make friends offline. Um, just get involved. Even if it's like volunteering at the animal shelter, cleaning out, you know, the cages or a food pantry, you know, or picking up litter off the river, you know, just simple things. Like you don't have to go gun ho about becoming religious or becoming civically minded. Do something small. Just get involved in your community. Anyway, I love you all.